What is up guys, it is Tony and I am here with another video. So today, I've been getting a lot of requests on a live wallpaper. So that's what I'm bringing here today is a new tutorial. Um, so first let's start off with what you'll need. Right now as you can see, I'm highlighting the Live Photos app. It's called Share Live. You're gonna wanna go to your app store, search Share Live, and then you're gonna want to click on the very first one, which is this one, and then you're gonna wanna download it. Once you download it, you're gonna to wanna to go over and actually open up the app. You wanna make sure that you allow it to access your photos as well as allow it to send you notifications. And just in case you mess that up, I mean, something that simple, how can you mess it up? Just in case you did mess that up, we're gonna go over to the settings and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you're gonna to wanna to look for that share live app. Once you're able to find it, you're going to click on it. You're going to want to go. Uh, you want to turn on notifications by clicking on notifications and allow notifications. You go back, and then you want to make sure that the photos are on, and make sure that you have it on red and right. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and exit out of it, and then we're actually going to start moving on to how to download um, a photos or how to find one that will work as a live wallpaper. And the reason why you want to access your live wall, I mean, you want to access your photos, by the way, is so you can actually, the thing that you find, the picture that you find, you can download it and it'll actually be a live photo. So you want to go to Google, type in whatever you like, One Piece, uh, One Punch Man, or Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, for me, I'm going to be looking for like a Dragon Ball Super character. I really like Goku Black, so that's the character I'm going to be searching for. Um, let's see, I think, I think Goku Black, Key Blast. Okay. I like that. Okay, so let's, let's see what we can find. So once you're done... Oh, I already messed up. I'm sorry. Uh, once you type in GIF, make sure you put GIF at the very end of that. You're going to want to scroll down um, and click on... You see those four images? You want to click show more because you're obviously going to have more than just those four images. And you want to find one that you really like. But before you find one that you really like, you want to make sure it has a GIF at the bottom left of it. See how it says GIF? That's the GIF. And then you want to scroll over until you find one that you like. Um, and you can click on them and then don't 3D touch them because if you 3D touch them, they'll push you into somewhere else. Just lightly touch it. So for, in, for example, you can see that one. I like that, but if you scroll down, you can see how there's different different uh, kind of animated or different themes that are added onto it. So I like this one. Now what you want to do is 3D touch that image. I'm just showing you really quickly on what it is. And it's going to pop up with this. Once you're able to uh, pop up with this new window, you're then going to go, want, go down to your share app. And I copied it just for later. You want to scroll over and you want to go to more. So what you're looking for um, is that you're not going to have it be down there, but you're looking for the share live app. You see the thing that I'm highlighting? It's going to look like that, but you're not going to have that yet. So what you're going to do is go down to more, which is in the very in the far right, scroll down, and then you're going to want to turn that on. It's going to be the, the Chinese slash Asian letters. Um, turn that on. Press done, and then once you press done, you're going to scroll over and then actually click on that um, icon. Right now I'm looking for it, and there you go. So you click on the icon. Once you do that, you see on the top right, you're going to want to click on that share button. Once you click on that top right share button that was blue, it's going to close that window and send you back to that the um, Safari application. Now you're going to want to go to your photos. And now we're going to set this as a wallpaper. But before we set in the wallpaper, instead of having it just, you know, horizontal, we're going to turn it vertical. And what you want to do is you can click on the image, go to edit on the top right. And what I did was just I, I flipped it to be vertical. And I'm um, set it as a live wallpaper. You see in the bottom three has still perspective and live. And live. Um, I clicked on live, and then I set it as my 
lock screen, and here you go. Now you can 3D touch and have a live wallpaper to show off to your friends. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and leave a thumbs up and a subscribe. And if you want any more tutorial videos, go down in the comment section, ask me some questions. I'll definitely be more than happy to make that for you. You guys have a good day. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.